What's going on? It's the College Basketball Experience. My, my name is Noah Beanick. That is Ryan McIntyre, a.k.a. Moneyline Mac. And we're going through the top five games to watch on opening night of college basketball here, November 4th. Game number one, actually ranked fifth for us here on our top five rankings. This is taking place in Sioux, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, 3 o'clock on YouTube. St. Louis against Santa Clara. Coming in to St. Louis from Indiana State, you have Robbie Avila. You have Coach Josh Schertz, also Isaiah Swope, the point guard, and Herb Sandek and the bunch from Santa Clara. Enter this Field of 68 showdown opening night tip-off. Uh, and a really interesting, great matchup against St. Louis. Mac, what makes this game so great? What makes this game so great? You mentioned it. Robbie Avila, Josh Schertz coming over from Indiana State to St. Louis. They they caught everybody by storm. Now they go over to St. Louis, um, run a new program here, and it's their first uh, chance for everybody to see their product. On the other side, you have a really good Santa Clara veteran uh, bunch that has a lot of expectations in the WCC. This is maybe Herb Sendick's best team, in our opinion. Um, I'm looking forward to the matchup in the front court with those bigs from Santa Clara against Robbie Avila. This next game on today's slate is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Their pick has one of the biggest menus for all the sports, and college basketball's lineup is going to be out there for opening night, and it's going to be so much fun. You can use specials and boosts on all flexed entries. Sign up today with the promo code TCE SGPN to claim your special pick plus first time deposit offer up to $1,000 in bonus cash. UnderdogFantasy.com, promo code TCE SGPN. Matchup number two, we ranked this one fourth. Ohio goes to James Madison. This is taking place seven o'clock on ESPN Plus. Mac, Ohio at JMU. This was ranked fourth by us. Tell us the storylines. Let's go. Yeah, so th this is a good one. You arguably have the favorite in the Sun Belt uh, and the favorite in the MAC. This is part of that Sun Belt MAC opening night showcase that we absolutely love with all these other matchups. Um, I I'm looking to see if this veteran group from Ohio that is right there to pick preseason pick to win the MAC. Jeff Bowles entering year number six. Um, potentially his best team since that NCAA tournament team in 2021. I'm looking to see if they can get a big road win to start going to JMU game one of Preston Spradlin. It brings over a couple guys from Moorhead interested to see how these styles uh, go head to head on opening night. And matchup three is brought to you by rhythm. SGPN's proud partner rhythm is the number one AI powered sports betting platform that helps provide betters of all levels the ability to build custom predictive betting models in seconds and get predictions for betting on money line spreads, totals, and props. You can build your own model or copy one of the top performing ones from the leaderboard, and Rhythm will give you predictions for every game and player prop. It also has a myriad of stats, research, and trend analysis to give you even more betting insights. Rhythm just launched their college basketball model, and you can claim your seven-day free trial today by going to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash rhythm. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash R-I-T-H-M-M. Game number three for us today is Missouri at Memphis. This is a return game of a home and home where <laughs> the two Tigers game, two Tigers teams are matching up together after Memphis went into Columbia, Missouri last year and beat Missouri. Memphis, a brand new team with the portal under Penny Hardaway with some turmoil to say the least lately in Missouri coming off an 0-18 slate in the SEC regular season last year. Mac, what are your thoughts on this one going into it? fascinating game you mentioned it uh memphis goes to columbia gets it done now you got two teams that no secret uh disappointing 23 24 seasons a chance to start hot uh both teams are very very talented both teams went in the portal got 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 high major talent in their program uh memphis their backcourt their, their front courts loaded Interested to see how this new Memphis staff meshes as well. I know they made all these changes around Labor Day weekend. And then on the other side with Missouri, they're coming off that offer in the SEC play. How do they mesh with guys like Tony Perkins coming over from Iowa um, in game number one? Keep your eyes on AAC Freshman Player of the Year, P.J. Haggerty, coming in from Tulsa. I think he's going to be an interesting player to watch here on Memphis this season. Matchup four is brought to you by BetUS. You can bet with the best in business. They've been around for more than 30 years, and they were incredible getting up uh, college basketball opening night game lines before anybody else in the industry. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BetUS to get in on the action. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BetUS, promo code SGPN, so they know we sent you. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook. 
And Mac, Ohio State against Texas. This is being played at 10 o'clock on TNT in Las Vegas, Nevada. Two interesting coaches heading into pivotal seasons at the helm of their respective programs, Ohio State, Texas. Yeah, battle of the interim coaches. Both both got hot in, in their interim years, retained the job. Diebler, one eight out of 11 down the stretch. He gets Michi Johnson back from South Carolina. He's got a veteran group. They did a good job in the portal. On the other side, Texas, you know they're going to be talented under Rodney Terry. How, how does their portal class mesh? I, I think the guard matchup and the backcourt matchup is going to be fascinating. I think whoever wins that matchup will end up winning, uh, win, winning this game. Tremendous. And college basketball is back, everybody. If you aren't already subscribed to the college ba- uh, college basketball experience here on YouTube or on any podcast platform, go over there, hit like, rate, review, subscribe anywhere you're listening or watching this show uh, to get picks on every game against the spread and on the money line here on the college experience. We're breaking it all down this season every single day of the year. Our fifth and final game ranked number one most uh, you know, best game to watch on opening night, Baylor at Gonzaga, 1130 on ESPN2 in Spokane, Washington. This is basically a home game here for Gonzaga, who returns a lot of production from last year. Andrew Nemhard, Nolan Hickman, uh, you, you, Graham EK. They also go into the portal and they fix a couple of holes. Uh, they bring in some shot creators in Khalif Battle from Arkansas and Michael Ajayi um, and Baylor. They go out and get some stars from the transfer portal under Scott Drew, Mac. This is the game of the night. Absolutely. I mean, it's a rematch of the Bubble National Championship. Mark Few, Scott Drew, they're best friends. Um, they 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 hate playing each other, but they but their friendship is, is definitely a bond. I'm looking for um, th- this Gonzaga team finished last year from February 1st and on as a top 10 team. They got to the Sweet 16 in a rebuild year. Now they're all back for another year. You mentioned it. They retain as much as anybody in the country. On the other side, you got Baylor. You got two transfers that have played in Final Fours in Jeremy Roach and Norchad O'Meara. I'm interested to see how the size of Gonzaga impacts how Baylor wants to play. Um, does Baylor go more four guards around O'Meara, or do they want to play big to match Gonzaga's size? I think it's a fascinating matchup on opening night, and we may see this matchup again come March. But uh, to get this on opening night in uh, out west, it's going to be a fun one between the Zags and, and the Bears. You can take the same pick as me, but one final thing before we get out of here, Mac, out of these five games, who's your favorite pick? Mine, I'm going with Missouri plus four and a half at Memphis. I would would say my favorite is the Ohio Bobcats to win at JMU. I I, I mentioned that I love Jeff Bowles in this group, and I think they're going to get a big road win at JMU to start off the season. If you guys like this style of content, you can follow my friend here, Ryan McIntyre, at at Moneyline underscore Mac on Twitter slash X. You can follow myself, Noah B 77 underscore anywhere on social media. Uh, this has been the college basketball experience. You can follow the show on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here.